I am feeling my outfit today. I've got the dungarees on, little roll neck, and these gorgeous shiny shoes. I love these shoes so much. And a little, little side parting. I haven't had a side parting in ages. So this is the plan for today. This is my weekly spread in my bullet journal, by the way. I really love the like biscuit stickers and how they look like they're dipping in the coffee, even though I don't drink coffee. But we're on Thursday, so I need to go to a cafe and do these things with the internet. Although I'm not sure if the internet is good enough in the cafe where I'm going to be editing web pages. So we'll have to see about that. Um, I would go to the same cafe as yesterday because the Wi-Fi there was amazing, but I just, I don't want to go to the same cafe twice. Bit of variety. Um, and then I've got some non-Wi-Fi things to do when I get home. Let's go. Just got home, that was useful. I did all of my internet stuff that needed doing and I also just got chatting to the guy that owns the cafe and like just had a good old chin wag with him some just uh, talking to a human that isn't Adam is quite nice actually and I really hope you liked the little cafe review thing I did in yesterday's vlog when I went to the other cafe I think I'm gonna do that like from now on whenever I go to cafes do like a little review of what the cafe was like so if you are from around here or you're visiting around Southside Glasgow then you can go to these cafes as well and see which ones you think are best. Oh I'm out of breath from walking up those stairs. We live on the third floor and there's no lift so every time I walk up the stairs I'm like <sighs> and then I also went to our local whole food wholesales whatever you call it shop and got some shampoo and some olive oil and you can just take your own containers and fill them up so that's really great to not use more plastic and the shampoo that I've got does not have sulfates in it it's nettle shampoo so it's really nice and it means that my hair is actually nice like it's not greasy anymore and it actually feels nice because basically I stopped using shampoo and I thought that would be a good thing but because my hair is so thin and so fine it just got greasy so quickly so I do need to use shampoo I just don't wash my hair as often I do it like maybe every three days and I use that nettle shampoo which doesn't have sulfates in and a conditioner from Superdrug which doesn't have silicone in. I'll show you the conditioner. This is the conditioner that I use, it's just their own brand extracts one and it's for fine hair and it smells amazing and it doesn't have sulfates so bonus. But while I was in the cafe I was checking my emails and I didn't get the job that I went for the interview for this like earlier this month and um, I think it was like day four or five or something I went for that interview didn't get it but like I said the other day when I get rejected from actual jobs like that I had an interview for it's it doesn't hit me as hard as if it's like another opportunity because I'm like ah you know that's my eighth interview so I wasn't really expecting to get it so a little bit gutted but I bought myself a cookie while I was in the cafe to cheer me up and I actually just discovered a new podcast that made me feel great on my walk home. Let me find out what it's called. It's called Nobody Panic and it, they cover like loads of different like adulting topics and actual tips of how to do them. So the episode I was listening to was on how to run a business and like start up your own business. Um, with like loads of no nonsense tips. The girls that are chatting are really funny. So that's kind of inspired me a bit and cheered me up and made me really want to like go out there with the face painting business and um, when we get wi-fi I'm gonna make my own website and everything so that has cheered me up but they're also really posh and really southern and I can hear in my own voice that my accent is changing to to meet them my accent like I'm an accent sponge so depending on who I'm around and who I'm listening to I pick up bits of their accent and like I don't even mean to I feel really bad like I feel like people think that I'm copying them but I'm not I just I can't help it I just pick up bits of their accent so like when I listen to the guilty feminist a lot the host of that she's got kind of an Australian accent so I get like 
the odd little Australian twang and then just listening to that one, just listening to one episode, I've gone like really posh and southern again, it's so bad. Let me know if you do this as well or if it's just me being really weird, like an accent sponge. I've just finished filming that video and my throat is absolutely killing me. I need some cough syrup right now. Where you at? Just like rummaging in my pill drawer, like where's the cough syrup? That was a super cute, I'm just licking my lips because I've got cough syrup on my lips. Mm. <laughs> that was a really cute video though, that'll be up on Sunday so make sure you stay tuned to go and watch that. I was talking about loneliness and making friends and all of the stuff and I went on like a proper rant It's gonna be a long one. That's why I needed the cough syrup. I just bit my tongue I don't know if you can see that Look at that, it's like grown. How gross is that? That really hurt. This shelf has been annoying me. Ooh, where is it? There it is it's just so cluttered, so I'm gonna try and sort it out a little bit. And I love watching things like this, like people clearing out stuff and organizing stuff, so I will film it for you. my card stopped filming and you couldn't see what I was doing on the top shelf so this is I should have done it before really but this is what we've got going now and I'm not still I'm still not 100% with it if you have any shelfy inspiration for me please send it my way because I need some this is like a massive focal point of the room as well because it's built in as well as like the mirror and stuff so it annoys me when it's wrong, you know, when it's just that little bit wrong and I can't figure out what it is. But I'm happy with it for now. Movie night! That was the weirdest film the ever. good weird. Oh, let me zoom in one second. Yeah, it was Being John Malkovich, which is on Netflix, but it's so confusing. So there's a portal and people can go through it and they can be John Malkovich, who's an actor. I hadn't heard of it <laughs> before this. <laughs> and it's just very, yeah, people going inside people and people subconscious and... And what does it mean to be s What does self? it mean to be yourself? Yeah, like, to be fair, like how they film it when it looks like someone's in John Malkovich and looking through his eyes, that's how I see with the glasses. Like, I can always see the frames. So do you know that's you looking at How it? do I know that I what am myself? What if there's someone in your head? What if? It makes you think. It makes you think really deep. Go yeah. watch that film if you want to get creeped out and also it makes you think. That's very good. Was that, I did I do a good film choice? You did do I a did. good film choice. Well done. Because I picked the best films. It's quite a random one, but yeah. 